Hi, I'm Deirdre Hooper. I'm a dermatologist in New Orleans, and today we're going to be talking about four buzzy skincare ingredients and why it's so important to use SPF when you're using any of these ingredients on your skin. Let's start with retinol. Retinol, retinoic acid, retinoids, these are terms that you'll hear and read all the time. And they're all a family of vitamin A products and they act similarly. Retinol is available over the counter and you can apply retinol or retinoic acid to your skin and it's going to go into your skin and exert an array of effects. Basically, the people that can benefit from retinol, anyone with acne, anyone that's bothered by pore size, anyone who wants to boost their collagen because they're seeing signs of aging. So it's a lot of patients. Most of my patients over the age of 18, I recommend a retinol to, and most of my patients under the age of 18 who have acne, I recommend a retinol to. So a lot of patients are on retinol in my practice. And it's so important to use sunscreen when you're using retinol as well, whether you're using the over-the-counter version, which is a little gentler, easier, easier to use, or the prescription version. And the reason it's important is because you're a little more sensitive to sun when you're using retinol. And so sometimes people say, oh, I don't use my retinol in the summer. And that's absolutely untrue. As long as you can use sunscreen in the morning, you should be using your retinol at night. You will end up with a more powerful combination for more beautiful skin if you do that. But antioxidants can really synergize with sunscreen. This is a popular antioxidant that I use myself most mornings. Um, sometimes I use other brands. I always use an antioxidant in the morning. This is vitamin C. And the way antioxidants work is they absorb free radicals. So free radicals are produced when your skin is exposed to any kind of environmental stressor, whether it's sunlight, pollution, heat, blue light from your computer screen, free radicals are produced. So your first line of defense is your sunscreen, but your second line of defense is your antioxidant. So if you have a topical antioxidant on board, you're better protected from skin damage leading to aging and skin cancer. And so you should use an antioxidant every day. I recommend using them in the morning because you're going to get more environmental stress to your skin during the day. So every day I recommend layering an antioxidant with an SPF on top before you leave the house. The next ingredient I wanna to talk to you about is AHAs and BHAs, or hydroxy acids. And you'll read about these and hear about these all the time. They're an important part of a skin smoothing, rejuvenation, anti-aging regime, and sometimes can even, even help acne. So AHAs, alpha hydroxy acids, are a group of acids that are usually provided from some sort of plant or or fruit that you'll see in the world. This particular product has AHAs in it like Phytic from Apple and Mandelic. BHAs or beta hydroxy acids are really the salicylic acid family of products. Salicylic acid is commonly used in acne products because unlike AHAs, which like evenly sort of coat your skin, a BHA likes oil. So it likes to go down into your oil glands. So BHAs are great for people that have comedomes and acne, large pores. People that are battling pigment or texture are better with AHA. Now many of my patients like combinations of both and you can use them every day. If you have sensitive skin, be careful when you start these products out because they can irritate your skin. And it's important to realize that if you're using an AHA or BHA regularly, you want to partner that with sunscreen, both because once again, sunscreen is your best beauty dollar. Sunscreen is the way to protect yourself from skin cancer and aging better than anything else. But if you're on a product that can thin the surface of your skin, the very surface of your skin, just your stratum corneum, we're not talking about thinning your collagen. We're building collagen with all of these anti-aging products. But if you thin the very surface of your skin, you can be a little more likely to get a sunburn. So if you're using AHAs and BHAs, be sure you're applying sunblock every day. Thanks for listening to me today. If you have any questions, just feel free to comment below.